Lego, come on, man. Why are you making a video about this? Where's the video about Kevin Hayes? And I've got a very good reason to not talk about that yet. That trade is so big, it's going to involve so many players, and we have way too many conflicting reports of news, updates, and it's going to be delayed till tomorrow, so we could just go ahead and make a video about it then. This trade, though, also delayed until tomorrow, a lot simpler. So I'm going to go out there and make my sweet time worth it by talking about this one and then making a full update video on the Hayes trade tomorrow. Danny Briere is really going out there and clearing house now, isn't he? Take a look at this tweet from Elliot Friedman. In addition to the currently delayed Philadelphia trade with St. Louis, there is word the Flyers are also working on a Tony D'Angelo trade that would return him to Carolina. That one might also wait until tomorrow. Here's an update from Pierre Lebrun. Further to Frege's little point here, Carolina is indeed working to complete a Tony D'Angelo trade, which will likely be completed Sunday, a.k.a. tomorrow. The Flyers would retain 50% on D'Angelo, and the Flyers would be getting a prospect from Carolina. This is easy. This is cool. We can make a video about this because there aren't a million moving pieces that are confirmed or not confirmed or whatever. Tony D'Angelo is indeed going back over to the Philadelphia Flyers after a season where he put up 42 points in 70 games played. He played one season with the Hurricanes where he was a 51-point guy. There's a dog barking outside, so I apologize if you're able to hear that in the audio. I have no control over the animals in my apartment here. But Tony D'Angelo, 27 years old, right-handed defenseman, very good offensive guy. And he's making $5 million a year till the end of next season. He will be a UFA upon expiry. And this is a player who, after all the controversy with him in New York, the good on-ice play, yet the terrible off-ice antics and the personality clashing with Alexander Georgiev, he has really proven himself as a player that still belongs in the NHL based off of the talent he possesses. He can man a power play, he can take shots, he can playmake, he's a very good offensive guy. But this season, he was a minus 27 because he played in Philadelphia. Now, going over to the Carolina Hurricanes with 50% retained, so $2.5 million a year against the cap for the end of next season for Carolina, this is going to be a really good addition to a blue line that already features the likes of guys like Brent Burns. Oh boy, talk about adding some right-handed defenseman depth. Take a look at what Burns was able to accomplish this previous season. That guy had 61 points in 82 games played. Just imagine what this team's going to be like when everybody is healthy and you're not missing out on big names in the postseason. From Svechnikov to Pacioretty, this team ultimately got robbed in the playoffs, and adding a guy like D'Angelo for next season will definitely bolster your team even more. And besides, the Carolina Hurricanes have so many good prospects anyway that it doesn't matter that your trading went away to get D'Angelo in return. This is a team that can afford to lose some of the prospects they have because they just have so many gosh darn good names. All the mid-round picks, all the late-round picks, I love what Carolina has done with their drafting, so using some of that leverage in the future to get a guy in D'Angelo now is a pretty smart move. And, of course, for Philadelphia, I mean, you're getting more assets for the future. Danny Briere is going out there and doing the thing here. We already saw the huge news on Kevin Hayes in St. Louis. We're going to talk about that more tomorrow. We're not going to use this video to go over any of those details because there are way too many to keep track of. But I guess we'll talk about it all when the trade goes down and is confirmed tomorrow. For now, though, this is a small video on another trade that will be confirmed tomorrow. Philadelphia Flyers defenseman Tony D'Angelo is heading over back to Carolina for a prospect. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.